Good morning. It is Saturday. It is November 14th. Um, it has been a couple of months since I went out. It has been even longer since I did a vlog. So here we are. Let's go find trains. Well, it is 12 something. 12.30, and I think it's lunchtime. Sadly, we haven't seen any trains yet. Well, saw the back end of one. Now they recently replaced this bridge and there was suggestion that it was a double track bridge. I don't think it is. They've laid it as a single track with space on either side. But I don't think it's wide enough for two tracks. I was also hoping that we would get Amtrak this morning, but they seem, they've changed their schedules a month or two back as part of a big cost-cutting initiative to uh, save some money, which is what cost-cutting measures are usually. Uh, and they've cut almost every train on the network down to three days a week. And that includes the Capital Limited, which no longer runs through this area in either direction on a Saturday. One of the really nice things about Shenandoah Junction, there is food just over that way. But we're also really close to Charlestown, which is where I am going to go today for KFC. Yep, coming soon. It's a Dollar General. That will also be very handy. Huh. Brand new. Very cool. Something I've known for a while is that there are some signals for the CSX line. This line starts in Harpers Ferry. It's the one that branches out after the tunnel and runs around the station. And it crosses the Norfolk Southern line here in Charlestown and continues on to Winchester. Strasbourg. I don't want to call it Stanley, I know that's wrong. But it is controlled by track one. However, because it crosses the NS line, there are controlled signals at the diamond, and I believe there are fixed signals on approach to those, and they are back here. Somewhere. Actually, I think I see where they are. Just a little while away. Right there. Right there. Now I just need to figure out how to 
into them. Yeah, I don't know how to get a good angle on that signal. It looks like it is a single head. It has enough space on it for maybe two lights. So it's possible that it does detection and shows red to anything coming up behind. But I kind of doubt it. Um, yeah, it's, uh, that's pretty cool. All right. Let's go back up there because there is a good chance there are still some trains around.
There we go, that's much better. Okay, so I'm home and offloading footage. Uh, it was a pretty good day. Uh, a lot of people, a lot fewer trains than I would have liked at the junction, but that is what you get when you go to a popular location like that. Uh, some days you get two or three, some days you get, at one point I think I counted nine, maybe ten cars all parked up, which was, I think, probably the most I've ever seen out of the junction, especially, well, it was a Saturday, so what do you expect? Um, 11Z had the Susquehanna SD33 Eco, I believe. Uh, I didn't really pay much attention to it when it was going past. I was a little too focused on not flying into trees. Um, and uh, Q349, I think, on CSX is a symbol I haven't seen. I don't know that I've seen that before. Uh, it might be relatively new. Um, yeah, not a whole lot of train traffic. Uh, 227, 228 was short as usual. Uh, 203, 201, fairly late in the day as the sun was fading. Uh, what else was there? There was another eastbound manifest, sorry, westbound manifest on CSX just as I was arriving. I didn't really get footage of it. Other than that, it was really quiet. Really, really quiet. Yeah. I thought about going to somewhere in Pennsylvania. Um, essentially, all of my ideas got scuttled because it was just too far. Uh, it wasn't reasonable to try and go anywhere other than Shen. So that's where I went. Uh, despite the large number of people, everyone was pretty good at keeping the distance. Um, no masks, but we were outdoors, so, and that includes me. So, it was a good day. Met a few people, and uh, I'd be happy to talk to them some more. <laughs> Until next time, have a good one.